ओके सो लेट्स लुक इन टू क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइट नाइन फ्रॉम द सैम्पल पेपर गिवन बाय गेट अथॉरिटी सो इन क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन इफ यू लुक एट द क्वेश्चन गिवन क्वेश्चन इज फॉर टू इवेंट्स ए एंड बी वेयर ए इज सॉरी बी इज सबसेट ऑफ ए विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज करेक्ट सो इफ यू लुक एट द ऑप्शन दैन इन ऑप्शन ए एंड बी देयर इज कंपेरिजन बिट विन कंडीशनल प्रॉबिलिटी एंड ऑर्डिनरी प्रॉबिलिटी सो ऑप्शन डी कैन नॉट बी द एंसर एंड ऑप्शन सी ऑल्सो कॉन्ट बी द एंसर सो वी वी विल हैव टू लुक इन टू ऑप्शन ए एंड ऑप्शन बी सो लेट्स look at this question in more detail and uh, what should be the correct answer for uh, for this question so in the question it is given that uh, b is subset of a so let's take uh, a universal sample space and we have given that uh, so let's take a subset that is a and since it is given that b is subset of a right so we can take b here and uh, so i have taken few samples if you count these uh, samples that is in form of dot the total sample in this universal set is 12 so there are 12 dots there right and uh, few of them belongs to set a and few of them belongs to set b and all of them belongs to this universal set right and according to question we have taken this set b as a subset of a now let's try to find out uh, in the given question in the given option a let's find out the probability of b when a has already happened so so there are many way to solve this so a has already happened so once even a has already happened if i ask then what will be the revised venn diagram when i am asking when a has already happened what will be the revised venn diagram so a has already happened that means all the elements of set a will fall because a has happened so the how the revised diagram will look like so it that uh, new universal set will contain all the elements that are in a right so all the elements that are in a also i want to mention one more thing that all these elements are equally likely i mean to say that the occurrence of probability of each element is equal so there are 12 element if i ask the probability of occurrence of this element then what will be the your answer that will be 1 by 12 so it is given that we, we have considered that uh, it is equally likely so now move on here so a has already happened a has happened then your revised uh, venn diagram will look like this right now a has already happened what you will have to find is probability of b what you will have to find is the probability of b now if you look at b so b is this one right is the subset of a so what will be the probability so this conditional prob probability will be what is the favorable that two element and out of how many elements are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 7 so the probability of b when a has already happened so it will be 2 by 7 also we you can go through by formula that uh, probability of b given a is equal to probability of b intersection a divided by probability of a right so you uh, check what will be the probability of b intersection a 
so here probability of b intersection is intersection a will be equal to probability of b right because that uh, intersection element between a and b will be b and it will be divided by probability of b now if you find probability of b that will be 2 divided by 12 and if you find probability of a so in a there are total of 7 out of 12 so anyhow you are going to find this uh, conditional probability is 2 by 7 now let's find this probability of b that is ordinary probability right so probability of b what will be it will be 2 by 12 that is 1 by 6 now you can make the comparison right so probability of so you can easily make the comparison now 2 by 7 and 1 by 6 which one is greater so these are the value that you will get and from here you can easily compare that the probability of b given uh, when a has already happened will be is this greater than probability of b right now you can easily also look at this equality so when that will be equal so let's suppose a and b these are two independent event so how we can write probability of b given a is equal to probability of b intersection a divided by probability of a if these are a and b are two independent event then how we can write is probability of a into probability of b divided by probability of a so in this case that uh, probability of b given a that conditional probability is equals to the uh, ordinary probability right so we have already gone through and we have justified that the option a is the correct answer so for this question for this question 9 option a is the correct answer thank you